Hello everyone, this is TechTribe and welcome to the third video in the TI NSPY programming series. The last video we discussed the difference between local and global variables and we also created a function that will calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The link is in the description. Today we'll do a quick review of the content of the last video and then we'll discuss the difference between functions and programs. So let's get started. From the home screen we'll create a new document and add a calculator page. As we learned in the last video, a function is something that returns a value. Let's recreate the function we made in the last video together. So we'll go to Menu, Functions and Programs, Program Editor, New. Now we'll name our function and we'll just call it Hypot. And then we'll make it a function and save. So this is just to test your memory. Um, we'll uh, enter variables A, B, which will be the inputs. Then we'll create a variable called H. And then to that, we'll save the length of the hypotenuse using the colon and the equal sign, not the slash. And then it will be a squared plus b squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem formula. And now all we have to do is just return this variable. So we'll type in return h. Now we'll go to menu, check syntax and store, check syntax and store. And now if we type in hypot 3, 4, we should get the output of 5. Now I'll show you something cool that you can do with functions. So we'll click on the top of the bar and click delete to close that tab. Then we'll go to functions, program editor, new, and we'll create a new function called, uh, let's do perim underscore right, which will find the perimeter over the right triangle giving the legs. So again, we'll pass in AB, but now um, to add the three sides, we can do a, a return, A plus B, and then plus hypot of a plus b. So as you can see, we're calling a function we just made in a different function. That's the powerful thing about functions. They return a value which you can put into other calculations. Now let's go to menu, check syntax and store, and check syntax and store. And um, let's run the function. So it'll be param underscore right. And let's type in 3 comma 4. And we get 12 because that is 3 plus 4 plus 5. The ability to call functions from other functions can be very powerful when you are doing very complicated calculations. Now let's switch to programs. So again, um, click on the top bar of the Perim Right tab until it flashes and click delete to close it. Now we'll go to functions programs, program editor, new, and uh, we'll make a new program. And um, I'll just call it um, hypot underscore PRGM for program. And this will do the same thing, but in a drastically different way. So first, programs cannot return values. So if I type in return 5, and then I check syntax store, check syntax store, and then I run the program, I am not going to get the correct output. So you can see, it just says done. So it doesn't give me the value I want. The way to display values in a program is using the display or disp command. If you go to menu, input output, and then disp, you can type in anything you want between the quotes and you should get that output when you call the program. So if we do that, we get five. Now we're going to make a very user-friendly hypotenuse calculator. So um, we will go to menu, then again, input, output, not transfers, input, output, um, request. So uh, now between quotes, we can type the command to the user. So I'll just type in enter like one and I'll go comma A. So we'll save the answer of the user to variable A. Then I'll do the same thing with the like two, enter like two and comma, save that to variable B. And now we will display the results. So display the hypotenuse is, um, let's do a colon, then a space, comma. And we'll just type in square root of A squared plus B squared. Uh, lowercase b, and then that, that should be it. Let me just widen the window so that you can see the full program. So we're requesting um, the two variables instead of inputting them directly and then displaying the result to the user. So now let's see how this looks like when we actually run the program. I'll resize the window again, and I will go to menu, check syntax store, check syntax store. And now instead of explicitly giving the parameters inside the parentheses, I'll just call the program. And then I'll get this prompt where it says enter like one. So I'll enter three and then enter like two, I'll enter four. 
and then I get my outputs in this nice manner, the hypotenuse is 5. So as you can see, programs are way more user friendly, uh, but if you are able to memorize what inputs go to a function, they could be more useful because you can call functions from within functions. So there are definitely benefits and drawbacks to both solutions. I prefer using functions because if I can remember what arguments go inside the parentheses, I can put functions within functions and that is very useful for me. But uh, you can always use both and see which one works better for you. I hope that you subscribe to Tech Tribe so that you can see the next AI Inspire programming tutorial as well as other useful guides. Thank you and have a nice day.